Hi everyone, in this problem we have an arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic sequence is one in which every term is obtained, uh, except the first one, is obtained by adding a number over and over again. So for example, um, to go from 3 to 7, we're adding 4. And then to go from 7 to 11, we're also adding 4. That number that we keep adding over and over again is called the common difference. In this case, we can see that it's 4. The question is to find the sum of the first 30 terms. So in an arithmetic sequence, the formula for the sum of the first n terms is the following. S sub n is equal to n times a sub 1 plus a sub n, all divided by 2. So in our example, n is equal to 30 because it's the first 30 terms. And a sub 1 is the first term. So in this case, this would be the number 3. So a sub 1 is equal to 3. So the only thing missing is this a sub n, which is actually a sub 30. So once we figure out the 30th term, we can take everything and plug it in, and we'll have the sum of the first 30 terms of the sequence. So to figure out a sub 30, we're going to create an equation for a sub 30 involving what we already know. So we know the first term. So a sub 30 is equal to the first term. And now we have to ask the question, how many times do we have to add d to the first term to get to the 30th term? Well, if you're at the first term and you want to get to the second term, you add it once. If you want to get to the third term, you add it twice. If you want to get to the fourth term, you add it three times. So to get to the 30th term, you add it 29 times. And it's pretty easy. You can just subtract 1. 30 minus 1 is 29. That will always work every single time. So we're looking for a sub 30. We know a sub 1. That's equal to 3 plus 29. And we know d, d is equal to 4. That's the number that we add over and over again, so times 4. So if you put this in your calculator, so 3 plus 29 times 4, I got 119. So that would be the 30th term. So now that we have the 30th term, we can go back to our formula and plug everything in. So this is equal to, let's see, n we said was 30 parentheses. a sub 1 was our first term, so that will be 3 plus a sub 30, that's going to be uh, 119, and it's all being divided by 2. So this is actually uh, 15, right, because 2 goes into 30 15 times, and then 3 plus uh, 119 is 122. I'm definitely going to use the calculator for this. So let's see, 15 times 122. I got 1,830. So this should be the sum of the first 30 terms. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.